There is not much difference between GATE exam and CUET exam. Both of the exams have general section where the reading and language skills of a student is tested. And then there is the most important section English literature where we have maximum number of questions that come in the exam. Whether it is GATE examination, NET examination, SET examination, CUET, PG entrance examination. We have English literature, one of the most important things that is required for you to crack the examination. So just like in GATE examination, we had the negative marking one by three here in CUET examination we have the negative marking of one by four so basically all the questions are four marks each in CUET PG entrance exam and if you get the question right you will be rewarded four marks but if you make the question wrong one mark will be reduced from your overall score so I hope you know all these little details and it is also expected from you that you should at least know the marking scheme a number of questions if you are serious to crack UETPG in English literature. And yes, application forms are available on the official website and this time around universities are enrolling the students based on CUET score. Last date to fill the application form is 19th of April, so do not forget to register yourself for the examination. Now let's talk about the important subjects to begin with so that you can plan ahead and give priority to all those important topics and subjects. But yes, before beginning, you can now crack CUET examination with the help of our study material and personal guidance program. Already a lot of students have subscribed to us for CUET examination. You too can do so by simply visiting the website limitlessliterature.com. Check the link in the description below to know more about it. Now without any further delay, let's quickly get on to this video. So there are 75 questions in the examination and these 75 questions are distributed into different different topics okay so based on the previous year cuet pg 2021 examination here is how the questions are divided british literature 25 questions language and linguistics 12 questions 10 questions came from indian literature 10 questions from literary theory 10 from literary criticism 5 from english education in india and 3 from indian aesthetics so that's how the total number of questions are divided. In this video, we will discuss about what to study in British literature because the maximum number of questions are asked from British literature, almost 25 questions. And then we have language and linguistics where 12 questions came. So the most important subject for us are British literature and language and linguistics. But yes, if you want to crack the CUET entrance examination, you have to study all these seven subjects that I have just mentioned. You may have to add another subject American literature into this list because American literature is also one of the important subjects. So to crack CUET PG entrance, you have to stay good in all the subjects. Okay. It's not like you study British literature and appear for the exam. That will not do the work. You must have average knowledge of all these eight subjects. So let's discuss about British literature and we will discuss other subjects in our upcoming videos. So subscribe to the channel to receive updates from Limitless Literature. So as I mentioned, there are 25 questions from British literature. Make sure that you study Booker Awards, Nobel Prize Awards, pen names, bibles and magazines because six questions directly came from these five topics. For instance, they asked what is the pen name of George Orwell? Or like when did Rabindranath Tagore won the Nobel Prize? Another question is from Bibles. In which year the Bible was translated into English for the first time? So six questions came directly from the five topics. Pen name, Bible, awards, magazines and all. And moving forward, the most important writer for CUET PG entrance is Shakespeare. Directly five questions came from plays such as Hamlet, King Lear. And they asked uh, to put the chronology of the Shakespeare's plays, to put them in the chronology which work came first and which work came second. So there were four options. The chronology of tragedies of Shakespeare was asked in the exam. So kindly study all those 9 to 10 plays of Shakespeare. Uh, you have to study all the four tragedies of Shakespeare, comedies of Shakespeare. You can leave the historical plays um, because that are not important. But yes, tragedies are comedies are important and you may have to study Tempest by Shakespeare because there was in-depth question from this play where the dialogue was given and the options were given. So the question was in-depth that's why you have to study this play and other plays tragedies by Shakespeare in-depth. Okay so it will take almost a week for you to cover all the plays from Shakespeare but it will be of great advantage. It will add five questions, almost 20 marks in your result or in your scorecard. Almost 10 questions were asked in the British drama. Uh, but yes, let's first discuss how the British literature was only divided into CUET exam. Beginning with British history, there were three questions. British poems, six questions. British drama, 10 questions. Miscellaneous, 
such as awards, pen names, Bibles, etc. Six questions. So British drama, ten questions out of which Shakespeare consists of five questions, and the remaining five questions were from other dramatists like Christopher Marlowe. There was a question from Doctor Faustus, so you have to study that. And then there were other questions like what is the rhyme scheme of uh, Shakespeare's sonnets? Okay, and then what is the rhyme scheme of a patriarchal sonnet? You have to study all those things. Moving forward to British poems, you have to study all the poems by S. T. Coleridge, metaphysical poets, all the important poems that were asked. Okay, so if you have our British literature poetry booklet in the study material, you can go through those poems. All of them are important. But if you don't have our material, kindly cover at least metaphysical poets, romantic poets, modernism poets from modernism and postmodernism, modernism like T. S. Eliot. It is important one. Okay, and most of the questions can be solved through understanding of British literature. If you have studied British literature in chronological sequence, you can solve around twenty questions. So you must remember the years of the ages. When does the age of Chaucer begin, or when did Romanticism came, or when is the beginning of Victorian period, Modernism or postmodernism? Important event in British literature like Magna Carta, Peasant Revolt, Black Death. Death of Chaucer, birth of Shakespeare, great exhibition. So these all are the events that will help you to have a proper understanding of complete British literature. And if you develop understanding of all these ages of British literature, what came first, what came later, you can easily get more than uh, 30 or 40 marks in the CUET examination. And almost British literature is very important. We cannot run away from British literature. Be it in set exam, PhD entrances, net exam, CUET exam, everywhere about forty percent of the questions came from British literature. So sooner you cover the British literature, easier it will be for you to crack any competitive exams in English literature. I will be uploading more such videos in the upcoming session on this YouTube channel, Limitless Literature. If we get more like to this videos, I will upload the next videos. Sooner, okay. So do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such updates. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.